Welcome back to my stream. I hope that you all are doing well, have had a good weekend, and are ready for this week ahead of you, or at the very least, have battened down the hatches and are, you know, ready for the storm that awaits. Um, <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. Um, hope you all have behaved yourselves and or have had fun and or uh, are still surviving. Um... <laughs> The, uh, I see that Yvonne has commented about there being, uh, wizard game ads on my stream. To my knowledge, unfortunately, I am not able to, uh, do anything about that, unfortunately. Um, however, I would like to take this opportunity and quickly just say that, uh, I do not agree with the mean wizard lady and her bad opinions. Um, 
that she posts about on Twitter, nor do I. Un and unfortunately, even though I once was a fan of Harry Potter, I have to say that I am severely disappointed in the series. And, uh, and the fact that she, you know, is what she is. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, I won't go too deep into it because I'm sure by now a lot of people who are watching this may have already heard all the bullshit, uh, and anyone else either wouldn't necessarily care or wouldn't necessarily be affected by it but uh yeah anyway uh we have the queen in discord uh, in my discord chat <laughs> she says she's still surviving over there that's good i'm glad you're still surviving survival is good uh, sorry, I have to rearrange my windows a little bit so I can actually see Discord. Uh, seeing Discord would be important. Um. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Welcome back to my stream, and here we are entering, uh, resuming, not entering, resuming, uh, our, the playthrough of Assassin's Creed Rogue. Uh, and the story of Shay Patrick Cormac. Um... And the canon modern, uh, the canon term, uh, canon name for the modern day character, com uh, compatriot, uh, named Numskull. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dive on in. I don't really have any announcements. Oh, 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 oh. Check out the link tree of the Patreon links on screen. That's about all I have to say about that. Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, na, na, na. All right, so I did a little bit of tooling around in between last week and this. Um, our main mission's over there. I only did a little bit because we still got a ways to go uh, before we're at a point where I am. We're still in the intro, essentially. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Christ, suddenly I'm dying. I was fine all day. <laughs> the old sloop, the Morgan. There's a burning ship over there, but we're not going to worry about that. Here he is, old hot boy himself. Shea, Shea Patrick Cormac. Assassin. Newbie, relatively. He's not high rank, nor is he really low rank. He's just kind of middle. He's middle management. <laughs> yes, I'm allergic to my camera. I need a short hair camera. <laughs> Different breed. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Sorry, my... My mouse has been causing me pain all week. I think a uh, piece of dust got in there and got in under the wheel. And I've been struggling trying to get it out. And it hasn't been behaving itself. Come on. I have a backup if I need it, but I'd rather not, you know? I like this one better. Ooh. Uh, puppy! Hit the puppy! Papa! You jungle boy! Yes, it is, jungle boy! Ja puppy! Puppy! Yes! Okay. Of 
You know what, Yvonne? Thinking about it, I think it's that I'm allergic to uh, Amazon and capitalism. Or work, even. <laughs> There is a. <clears throat> Let me put a cough drop in my mouth. Hopefully that'll help <clears throat> stem the disaster that ha that is my sinuses. Let's try to get this shanty over here. Got it. Cool. All right. Oh, we're in Sleepy Hollow. I totally missed that. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. As in that Sleepy Hollow. As in the location that the story of the Headless Horseman is based off. Okay. One moment. I'm swapping mouses. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but it's making me. I'm not, the thing is I'm not even touching my mouse wheel and it's changing, it's changing the things. <laughs> uh, I hate this. Okay. Oh God. And I don't have this set up for DPI or anything like that. It's fine. This will be fine. It's fine. We're fine. <sighs> It's fine. It's fine. Yes, the Sleepy Hollow, as in <coughs> the one with the Headless Horseman. <coughs> in fact, there are references to that Sleepy, uh, the, to the story of the Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman, like the pumpkins here. And also, I believe there is actually a quest involving the headless horpin Hor horpin horseman ah welcome back queen that's okay i was just talking about how we are in sleepy hollow currently as in that sleepy hollow the sleepy hollow um and that there are references to the headless horseman all over the place here um in fact if i remember correctly there is a quest involving the headless horseman at a later date in the game And other than that, I was having mouse trouble. That's okay. Okay. So give me one second. Uh, bear with me a moment. Because... I need to... Come on. Give me this. There we go. Options. Rolls. Right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. More. <laughs> well, that has that inverted. Okay. Well, good to know. Whatever. And there was no you. Okay. Or was there? There we go. We'll do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes, exactly, Yvonne. All right, let's start this mission. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? 
Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. <coughs> they are essential for conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. Good old Ben Franklin. This is in. Yeah, yeah, I know how to use Eagle Vision. I've been using it. I think I'll be followed, says the guy. Come on, go over the fence, Shay Jesus. I'm telling you to go over the fence for a fucking minute and a half. Let's go. All right, we'll go over here. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I can't use that to get across. <laughs> Too far away for me to use that to get across. God damn. Shame. Shame, 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 shame. Excuse me. There we go. All right. Don't look now, but I think I'm being followed. We'll all take the butchers. Oh, in the water. Okay, well... Yeah, we'll loot some ammo off of him. I still have yet to be seen correctly. Correct. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Let's hurry back to Franklin. Do not swim. Okay. Listen to that thunder foley, man. Woo -wee. We'll go ahead and get that since we're here. Do not swim. Oop, that's a tree. Going to get myself electrocuted. I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Did not get detected and did not swim. All right, since we're right here by this chest, let's go ahead and pick it up, too. The nearest bureau is near Mount Vernon. Both will be expecting me. Here's my ship. Uh, it wants me back here, so let's just fast forward. Not fast forward, fast travel. That's the word I was looking for. All right, how am I doing on ammo? I could be doing better. Uh, let's dip in here and top up my ammo. <laughs> Hello, sir. How fare ye? Uh, no, we don't want to sell cargo. We do want to buy some sleep darts and berserk darts. And we're good on everything else at the point at this point. Uh. Okay. A pleasure. See you next time. 
<clears throat> All right. Hello. Uh, we're here. Grab that, climb up. Up, see Daisy, then down, see Daisy. Why'd you beat me here? Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shane. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. And I love that the people in the church are just fucking letting this happen. Mm, nope. Wrong way. Careful, Shay. <clears throat> it's a long way down, my dude.
This must be it. The precursor site. What do we have here? Don't you love it when the ground when the path just comes up from underground? Yeah, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. That doesn't look like a normal piece of Eden. Normally they're like an apple or something. Shay. Do this to them. God had nothing to do with this.
1755 Lisbon earthquake, also known as the Great Lisbon Earthquake, impacted Portugal, the, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, and Northwest Africa on the morning of Saturday, for, uh, Saturday November 1st, Feast of All Saints, at around 9 a, uh, 9.40 a.m. local time. In combination with, with subsequent fires and the tsunami, the earthquake almost completely destroyed Lisbon and adjoining areas. Seismologists estimate the Lisbon earthquake had a magnitude of 7.7 .7 or greater on the moment magnitude scale, with its epicenter uh, in the Atlantic Ocean about 200, kilom uh, 200 kilometers uh, west-southwest of Cape St. Vincent and about 290 kilom uh, kilometers uh, southwest of Lisbon. Estimated casualties are arranged from 12,000 to 50,000 deaths. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell's knew. going on? Stop this. The operation was delicate. Perhaps you, you are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Actually, I need to step away real quick. Um... <coughs> Um, I want to run that again, uh, but I want to, I need to step away for a, uh, real quick. Um, I need to run to the bathroom and I'm going to go get more to drink. Uh, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and run that again.
So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript! This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents! How dare you! You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. The unfortunate thing is he is right. Um, instead of trying to, uh, waiting to try to understand these, uh, these, uh, artifacts before messing with them, in his haste to pro protect them from the Templars, the assassins and led by Achilles have, uh, blundered into a mess. Only one thing to do. My bonus. Do I have a bonus? I do not have a bonus. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Stop him! Stop Shay!
Have you gone mad? Bruh. Get back into hiding. Well, I think I just killed somebody. Nope, I didn't. Okay. There you go. Right? That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles. I cannot. I will not let this happen again. All those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! Yeah. The unfortunate thing is, this is a situation where... Shay is not the one at fault, right? Because he's been out, he's only, he's not high enough to know the complete truth, right? So he only knows a portion of the, of the truth of the matter. That said, technically speaking, he is also absolutely correct because Achilles also does not have the full picture. Achilles and the other assassins all made desperate grabs to take those precursor artifacts, assuming that one, they'd eventually fall into the Templar's hands, and two, that they would eventually, uh, that they would be, that the assassins were the right hands rather than leaving them alone and just hiding their location as best they could. Yo, absolutely. Absolutely. And the fact that the thing is Achilles took action without knowing the uh, the full story. In fact, uh neither in, in fact none of the rest of the assassins did either. Mackendall, uh he did the same thing in Haiti. Um and uh it's very much this thing of at this point the assassins have become so desperate to keep anything precursor out of the hands of the templars that they're acting without thinking and without planning and without learning and without researching Altair and Ezio would absolutely have slapped them for that Hell, even Edward would have slapped him for that because this is exactly the kind of behavior that Edward Kenway did throughout the entire Assassin's Creed 4. And it's what killed all of his friends. And so the truth of the matter is Shay, Shay should have known the full truth from Achilles before going in. But likewise, Achilles 
should have one listened to Shay's hesitations and two hesitated himself not knowing the full story <clears throat> there's a whole lot of trusting without knowing going on here trusting without blindlessly following orders you know it's that that whole there's that whole lot of that hap that's been happening in the assassins at this point in time and it's ultimately what leads as we know to how the assassins are when connor stumbles upon achilles in the davenport homestead during, uh, right before the american revolution <clears throat> and you know how that the assassins were then they were all gone except for achilles what is this a glitch in the memories there seems to be more data. <coughs> These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. I'm 90% sure we won't kill you with this. Whee! All right, Namsko. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing there. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. He's much older. Look at him. He's much older. That's fine. Et alors, vous l'avez trouvé? Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre Dame. Ben Franklin is at Notre Dame. If we hurry up, we can catch him. Allons-y. Stop playing with yourselves. Let's go. That's who she is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre Dame. She must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. was unnecessary, Shay. Most likely. She couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud, 
The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. <coughs> Now we meet Otto Berg. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Why you gotta stab the knife in the black man's your face? Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. Next task is clear, but please reflect on what we have discussed. Like, for real, why'd you gotta stab that in the black man's face? Like, there was a white man right there and right there, but why that one? I'm like, for real, my dude, the fuck? Okay, you're right, I didn't. Come to the elevator anyway. All right, let's pick this up. Have any more computers to hack or anything we do but i don't think we can get to those yet yeah i don't have security clearance one yet i don't think dude get out of my way hey i'm by the elevator get over here i'm coming i had a lard ass in my way i'm tired of waiting for melanie's stupid repair crew so i got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back i'll get cool. your animus prepped while you're downstairs i've added the location to the next server on your map Get going. Okay. Shit, I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great. Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. Welcome back to Abstergo Entertainment Montreal. I don't know why I said it that way. Can I hack? Can I hack? I can hack. No, I can't hack. Hack this. No. Do I have anything I can hack at the moment? It wants me to go over there. Let's nose around first. No, that's not the button I meant to push. I mean, don't threaten me with a good time, girl. Do you promise? Do you promise you'll come down and hold my hand? I'm just saying, I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it harassment either. As long as it was consensual. Hand-drawn animations are fantastic. We're making oh. good progress here. Don't you dare show your face without restoring the servers. Girl, don't worry. <laughs> I'll do the thing. I just got to dip into the restroom real quick. Uh, let's be the creep and go into the girls first. <laughs> Fine, it's empty. I could <laughs> Oh, you, you like bossing me around, huh? You like, like, uh, giving order? You like that, huh? <laughs> I apologize, except I also don't. <laughs> How about now? No? Uh, now? No. Shit. Why servers, isn't this working? Servers, numbskull, servers! It, 
Something, 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 derogatory, kink, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Doesn't sound like my thing. Thank How you for the bonk. It without even playing it. I'm walking through the next block of saved memories. Unlock those servers. I'm working on it. I'm just not in a hurry. You know, I'm the one that you plug into the device, damn it. Let me stretch my goddamn legs. Have something to eat. Shit. Do I damn. have to come down there and hold your hand? Again, don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, fine. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, wrong thing. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her. Oh, for God's sake, restrain him. You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena, calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkane! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? This pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there, he upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Fucking Templars, man. Fucking Templars. <clears throat> so, a little bit of a lore drop here real quick. <clears throat> Just real quick. So, one of the things that's relatively integral to the story that I have not shown on stream because it's no longer available is the Assassin's Creed multiplayer storyline. So starting with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, there was a multi an online multiplayer mode that uh, for each of the games that ran in tandem with the with each of the games. So Brotherhood, uh, Revelations, and three and four all had their own multiplayer modes, and each one were and the multiplayer mode was uh framed 
within the universe as a uh, animus training program where the uh, where Abstergo would have uh, would take selected individuals and train them through animus memories from certain individuals throughout history <clears throat> using the bleeding effect which was training Desmond to be an assassin uh, training these special Abstergo Templar agents to be assassin hunters essentially um, and also Berg was one of those individuals as well as uh shit what was his name daniel something daniel C no not daniel craig uh maybe daniel craig i don't know daniel something or other um who was mentioned last stream uh that desmond killed in assassin's creed 3 um as well as or cross it was daniel cross i think anyway point is We've come across these individuals before. Um, <clears throat> in fact, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and I believe in Revelations as well, though I don't think in 3 and 4 they did, um, but in uh, the two Ezio ones, multiplayer ones, they, had, they actually had Ezio encounter the individuals that whose memories Absurgo was using to train these people, and... Uh, defeated them, killed them because they were Templars or rogue assassins or both. Um, so that's what they're talking about. The training program and what uh, that what Vidic, it was Vidic's initiative is what it was. And now that Vidic's dead, it's kind of dead in the water um, because Vidic died in Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, it's still kind of ongoing, but also kind of not. Um, and considering that Assassin's Creed 4 was the last one to have that multiplayer component in, the, in that same way, <coughs> it's an uh, understandable... It's essentially implied that that's the end of the uh, Abstergo training program. So there is a little bit of like training story mode lore that's sprinkled throughout that multiplayer that uh, I've personally never encountered because I never was able to get around to... By the time I got the games and got into them and played them and stuff, the multiplayer modes were more or less offline and or not used. Um, there's still a few people that are playing the Assassin's Creed 4 one, but from my understanding, it's really hard to get... Uh, a server going and stuff like that um so basically there's no real point in doing it at this point um and from my point of view um now that may change there is a movement online for the assassin's creed multiplayer modes to come back in a resurgence and it's just ubisoft has to actually fucking do it but um anyway so that's that's the lore stuff that they've been sprinkling throughout about the uh, initiate uh, the, uh, the the training initiative and the uh, and the origin of Otto Berg and things like that. Button, button. Great job, Namskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here, double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I need... We to see what Shea will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. If you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. Now she'll let me stretch my legs. Alright, so I can't go in there. That requires security clearance 3. Um, I think I've got all the tablets down here so far. Um, went back there. Went back here earlier. Um, I wonder if these are hackable yet. They are. Score. Let's hack these computers, shall we? Thank you. 
There we go. Like Hathen Kenway. Yes, Daniel Cross. Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al Mualim. Haras. Vali Sel Tradat. Baptiste. Duncan Walpole. Hatham Kenway. Lucy Stillman. Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Shea Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. So, that was Daniel Cross. Um, now, he mentioned the Orlov family. Uh, if I remember correctly, Orlov... Uh, we actually see uh, an ancestor of crosses, uh, Nikolai Orlov, I think that's his name, uh, in Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia, which we will get to sometime before Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, but uh, that's the first mention of that name. So basically just, you know, file that away for lore reasons. All righty here. We'll put that there. Right. Out. Oh. Look at that. That's beautiful. Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Albero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries. 
There to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. So, a <clears throat> lot, of, lot of references to lore that we've not heard about before. Um, Grammatica, um, Paris, Montreal, etc. Um, basically, there's some... Uh, in between Assassin's Creed 4 and this game, uh, the in Assassin's Creed 4, the noob was asked by the sage who was Erudito. The sage being John, uh, the crazy guy who ended up trying to kill us at the end of the game. Uh, spoiler alerts for if you haven't watched that, by the way. Um, the, uh, he, uh, he was the sage they recovered in Montreal. The assassins went to care and gathered that blah, 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 blah. But they used information that, um, that, uh, they got from the noob. From Assassin's Creed 4. Alright. I don't think we can get in there yet, and I know we can't get those two yet. So, we'll try- yeah, I don't think we can get in here yet. It says error. So, alright. Let's go back upstairs. Oh, there's another one of those. Do I see any others? Is that one? No, that's a bottle. Okay. Lore 2, Helix Research. <clears throat> Basically, the Abstergo Entertainment um, Animus video co game console becomes the Helix console between Assassin's Creed 4 and Rogue. Um, it, they're still in the process of launching it at the time that this game takes place, um, and they're calling their cloud servers the Helix. All right. Let's try this way first. That requires clearance three. That requires no clearance. Been in there. Things have changed a little bit around here since the noob left. Uh, and since the noob was here, um, you can see that they've upped some security clearance reg regulations and the like, um, in response to the stuff involving that happened in, in Assassin's Creed 4. Um, okay, so I can't get to either of those yet. I can't, I don't think I can get to the security room yet. Ooh, another one of these. One, three, four, okay. Sorry, but this is a restricted area. Um... Violet Takasa has apparently been here since before um, the events of, uh, since the around the events of Assassin's Creed 4, uh, modern day storyline. Um, we just haven't seen her. They may have mentioned her. I don't remember. What's up? Uh, don't mind me, just nosing around. All right. 
full, 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 full. All right, back to the Animus we go. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. So... Yeah... Just trying to think if there's any lore that I can drop before we go on. Um, anything that might matter. I'm sure there is, but honestly, I'm I'm blanking on it, so we'll just let it go. Kitty. Looking worse for wear there, my dude. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village, idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. Uh, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Anything to pick up in here before we go handle whatever that scream was? Nope, okay. He really hurting, my dude. They're currently painting that room. Or that wall. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. And don't come back. Right. <laughs> Typical assassin stuff, though. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Gentlemen. Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. 
manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Yeah. I mean, Barry was being just just being a dick, but yeah. Do not get stunned by smoke. Wow, you can run and climb very well for a guy who's got open wounds, my dude. Oh shit. Come on, Shay. Up, my dude. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? Right? You can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Now, I want to take a moment and point out this guy, uh, the new coat. Like, the coat game is strong, y'all. Like, that is an amazing coat. I'm not one for the ornamentation, but you know. Gang leaders will hide and try to ambush you if you can counter their attacks. Listen for whispers, which will reveal the presence of a captain hiding nearby. Use eagle vision to locate them via the danger compass. The compass will fill up as you get closer to your target. Avoid open conflict inside the headquarters. Locate and kill the gang leader. There was a thing. Do not get shot. Okay. Oh, look, the danger compass. I think that is our target. He may have detected me, but he's not alive anymore. Uh oh. Well. So about these gangs that were this gang we're fighting. Oh, I lost a reward. Shame. I'll reload here in a second. I was trying to show my audience something, dumbasses. Leave me alone. Okay, now then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see him. I see the gold. He's coming.
Now, I want to take a second and point out. So, normally, you know, they have the automatic, you're in a dangerous area, they pull up the hood. Like, Edward did that. Shay's done that. Well, since Shay doesn't have a hood anymore, he has a collar on his coat and pull, pops the collar. See? Oh, damn it. I was, again, too busy talking to my audience. Fuck. I guess I should focus, huh? Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. How dare I have an audience? How very dare. But yes, while we're here waiting for this uh, leader to show his face, um, look at that flag in the background. There's a very specific symbol on that flag. And there's the same symbol right there. Well, when this guy comes down the stairs, we'll see if we can get a good look at this guy. The gang leader. Let's see here. He's got a hood. Let's see here, he's got a hood. Hood, uh, you know, stab me. Yeah, I'm, uh, hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Gang leaders, uh huh, yep, okay. Now, I want to say, I want to point out something that Assassin's Creed has always, always been very clear about. In the games, their factions have always been very denotable by the colors that they, that they wear. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, if there were allied soldiers, they wore green. If they were Borgia soldiers, they wore red. And the same is true with, uh, I believe it was Revelation was the same way. In Assassin's Creed 3, of course, it was the red coats versus the blue coats. But in Assassin's Creed 4, you had the British and the French who were all enemies. Or not the French, the Spanish who were all enemies. And in this, this game has a lot more factions because you've got the French, the British, the Assassins, and the Templars. The British, of course, are wear red. The French, I believe, wear blue. The Templars, I forget what color they tend to wear in this game. Um... But generally speaking, they're either red or blue, usually, because I think that they, because usually it's the Templars are part of the other two. And, but the Assassins, at this point, the Order, especially in the colonies, had gotten so big 
that they had random soldiers and recruits that were not technically assassins, but were still assassins. And the color, as, and we saw a lot of those soldiers and their colors in the Davenport home in, uh, homestead. And what color were those? Those were orange-ish yellow. In fact, they were that color as that flag and as the highlight of this guy's uniform. In fact, when I was running from the Davenport estate, those were the colors. All right, there's the guy. So this is an assassin's faction. I did, but I forgot to make it back. I mean, I forgot to make it large again. I did mean to make it small because I was on a bit of a rant, but yes. Basically, these are the these are a sub faction of assassins in New York. This orangish color as displayed on the flag is the uh, color that the assassins factions tend to use in this game. Fire assassins. Now we have cleared out uh, this section of, of New York. And as you can see, we have gang headquarters all across New York and in many of our other locations as well. Um, interesting tidbit. If I remember correctly, uh, in Assassin's Creed 3, there are Templar dens you can clear. And if I remember correctly, most of them, if not all of them, mirror the same locations in New York. The, the, if I remember correctly. Some of them, if not all of them. Just an interesting thing. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. 
Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. Renovations are a major source of income. You need to acquire the necessary resources before performing them. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Well? A lot that I'm going to need to do in my free time. We've got some more renovation down here, but I'll worry about... Actually, let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's treat ourselves. Let's see if we can renovate that. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. What I've done. I can't change the past, but maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm fine. I don't have enough uh, canvas. Darn. Okay. That's fine. We'll worry about that another time. I'll head back to the Finnegans, but first I want to swing by the store. Come on, store. Here we go. There's an assassin. All right, no cargo to sell. I can buy some... Let's see here, I can buy... Go ahead and buy these. Though we use... These. Uh, I have those bought. Can't afford those. And we use the katana. Ammo is full. Outfits. Can't buy any outfits at the moment. Alright, so to the objective. Dude moves very well for having just been, uh, like, just been wounded as fuck. I mean, that wasn't intentional, but I'll take it. <laughs> Long walk in a short drop. Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I, 
I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. <sighs> you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame, mister. <laughs> it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Firecracker. Firecracker Dart creates a commotion that attracts everyone's attention. It's the perfect tool for creating a diversion. Same guy who made trouble for the Christopher Guest. Come on, fuckers. I'm Shay Cormac. But what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sent me. Aha! Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. Gang Stalker. Stalkers hide in wait and try to attack unseen. You can fight them if you block their attack or use firecrackers to draw them out. You can also use the compass and eagle vision to point you to the closest stalker or captain. 
A stalker is nearby. Use Eagle Vision to locate the stalker. If stalkers see you first, they will attack. I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post haste. <laughs> Got fucked. Ah, there's one. I have a gas mask I can wear. When they throw up smoke. I saw her there, I was just a little too slow because I pulled the wrong gun. That was some magic. All right, now to cut down the uh, the old flag. The old flag being the assassin one. She's a fine ship, and true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Aww. Well, come aboard. Aww. <laughs> That's kind of adorable.
Also, I Shay's coat game mates. is strong. May I suggest our next destination? The colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! Splendid! Alright. Now, before we head out... What's on your mind, Captain? A little bit of business to do. Now that we've progressed this far, we have access to set, to uh, design and stuff. The Aquila's sails. Wolf sails, I believe, are the canonical ones he that he uses. There's the Jackdaws sails from later on in the from post Assassin's Creed 4. All right, let's use the wolf sails. Black shadow figurehead representing a succubus. Ooh, nipples. Mermaid, Harpy Skull, the Experto Creed, or Creed, whatever, is uh, the one from Adewale's ship. The Falcon, which I believe is Morgan's actual one, but I could be wrong. Oh no, Lagerfo, Lagerfo, which is um, uh, asshole from earlier in the game, Chevalier's. Uh, ship. Kraken. Blackbeard's figurehead. The Aveline figurehead. British Lion. The Achilles figurehead. There's the Morgan's figurehead. And then there's the other one. A figurehead representing a wolf. One of the forms taken by Morgan. A goddess from Irish mythology. And then there's the Jackdaw's figurehead. You can see how it's burned because the Jackdaw sunk. Uh, we'll go with the... There's the Morgan, which was the first one. But we'll go with Wolfhead. Black Shadow Wheel. Ivory Wheel. Black Wood Wheel. Elite Wheel. James Cook's Wheel. Golden... The Golden African Wheel. British Lion Wheel. Kraken Wheel. The Aquila's Wheel. wheel Blackbeard's Wheel. Morgan's wheel, wolf wheel. I think we're going to go with the wolf wheel. Yeah, there we go. All right. Like I said, just a little bit of, uh, and I don't think we have any upgrades we can get. Nah. Another time. Okay. Uh, Fort Boston. Okay. Go ahead and start this next quest. Captain there she is. All right. Uh, I want us to go to the River Valley. on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. 
And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Splendid. Full sail ahead, lads! Good old Albany. Circumstances. <laughs> In good health, I see. Uh, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain. Oop, sorry, didn't mean Thank to bump my mic. Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of <clears throat> operations is a French fort further down river. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonists. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always Can the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or the whiskey. Now, why do you say that, Mr. Cormac? I can say you're skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. He's off the way. Surely the right on. Anchor ahoy! Bienvenue. Nouvelle France. I probably bur butchered that. Valley Verte. Valley Verte. Yeah, white, white, bluish, blue and white is what the French usually wear in this game. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, this looks like a fine way to go. Shall we?
Oh, fuck me. Well. Shish. Fine. It's fine. You saw nothing. It was just a wolf in the reeds. <laughs> nothing. I now have 400 money in the bank. It's behind my... The notification is behind my camera, but... Oh, shit. Hi. Okay. No, I need to reload that. Because <laughs> I... Fuck. Oh, fucked that up. <laughs> so bad. Way hey up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Oh yeah, there's a chest over here. Let's get that. Oh, and now it's raining. Joy. Chest. Chest. All right. And the rain is gone. There he is. Oh God, no. Y'all saw nothing? Or you, you saw a little bit? Ah, uh, fuck me. Well, we're just gonna have a quick reload. Just a quick reload. Just a little one. Just a little one. A little reload. Un petit reload. All right. And we're trying that again. Trying that again. Hang the key holder. You look tired. Have a rest. My guy, you had two targets in front of you. One was the guy that was highlighted yellow that your supernatural senses told you was the guy you needed to kill. The other one didn't even glow, indicating that he was just a random decoration of NPC. My guy. What possessed you? 
You need a rest, okay? Just rest. It's fine. <sighs> All right, up, over. There he is. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Nope. Don't want to double assassinate. I do, however, want to wait for him to come out from under that. Oh, not them. Come on. There we go. Ow, ow. Would you fucking kill him? Okay. This is fine. Shay, I swear to God. Come on, investigate. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. Have a rest. There you go. Arrête de gueuler, Landry. C'est ta patrouille, on en reparlera demain. Donc je me suis enrôlé pour une autre année. Vraiment. Ow. Ow. Now, before we trigger that, let's come up here and pick up this, uh... Shard. Fragment. Whatever. Come in here and grab this. Da -da -da. Oh, 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 oh,
place, laissez-moi. Ne me tuez pas, je vous en prie. Je suis Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go to your cabins where... To arrange the work. Go to your cabin to arrange the work. Hmm. The bank. Buy. Hoop grads. Okay. <laughs> Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. Captain's at the helm! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Why don't we not use slurs? There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander... The French will surrender, you know? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in, wounded bear. Flotsam, sir. Could be valuable cargo. There's our target. Basically, it's tutorializing me on the uh, method of taking a fort which I did multiple times throughout the course of Assassin's Creed 4. Not always on stream. Yep. Yep, I know how to use a mortar. Come on. I didn't say to do that. Now, before I go and dock, I want to go raid that ship.
as resources. Not much, but hey, early enough in the game, every little bit helps. Didn't even have to board. No, I'm not going to send it to the fleet. I will salvage the ship. I don't need to repair. So, yeah. Mainly because we haven't done much with... We haven't actually been introduced to the fleet stuff yet. Um, so, we'll we'll see what I do and don't need to do in regards to that. Because um, I don't rem I don't know. I've only played this game the once. Whereas Assassin's Creed 4, I've played multiple times. I know that with Assassin's Creed 4, uh, regardless of your save... Your account is bound. The fleet stuff is bound to your account. I do not know if the fleet stuff is bound to the account or the save in this game. So there's only one way to find out. With what we've taken, we can improve the ship, Captain. Yep, and we'll do that in a bit. Not on stream. Shush. Let the anchor go! I love his voice. Build the two French lookouts. All right. Oh, wrong part. This is the part I want. chest over there. Let's go get that. Don't mind me, just gonna shank you from behind. And then come over here. Out of the bush. Thank you. And grab the chest. Alright, cool. Port LaCroix. Shay, you're a little bit on fire, my dude. Shay, 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 Shay. Shay, climb the damn thing, my dude. Ow. Ouch. Fuck me. What you get? Shake. Now then. Ow, fuck me. Sir, say 
It has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes. From Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chassar. Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. But the boss just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. I'll catch up with you one way or another. Not too hard. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. And may your final Thanks. delivery be swift. I'm gonna have to do that again, but not right now. Le Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come <coughs> after me. You see the justification for everything he does. The desperation, the sliding deeper and deeper into his... Into the pit over his head. The rationalization, the desperation, the, the justification. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You yeah. don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <laughs> yes, it sure uh, was. In, in any case, amongst other things, I found maps and charts detailing various French trade routes. What are you thinking, Guest? I thought perhaps we could use them to um, help the Royal Navy and fill our pockets. I stored these maps in your cabin, Captain, should you wish to use them. And now we find out about the fleet. All right. So it looks like nothing carries over. Oh, it's currently telling me what to do. Yeah, it's tutorializing me. Ah, oh, yay, we did the thing. Okay. So. Yeah, it doesn't look like it carried over. Then again, it's been a while since I've looked at my fleet and my main save, so I should probably check that. But anyway. I'll worry about doing that off screen or off stream. I mean, okay. Now we have some upgrades while we're down here. Let's go do that. Bye. Upgrades. We can upgrade our rowboat and stuff. Um, I think that's what I'm leaning towards because one of the things I'm going to have to do 
off stream is harpooning. So I can only it looks like I can only do one of the things. Ah, uh, no, I can do that. Not much else. All right. Yo, yo, that one guy at the start needs to calm the fuck down. Thanks and congratulate you, Shane. He has returned to New York, but you look troubled. Do, do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, yes? If you chose the right path. Uh, I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Kist. Let's head back to New York. Hi, Captain. Floating. I'm gonna fast travel because we're getting close to the end of the stream. There's one more thing I'm hoping to accomplish before uh, to unlock before we get to the uh <coughs> before we end tonight. Okay. <sighs> okay. Jake, get out of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, Shay. There's stairs right here, my dude. All right, let's get this viewpoint. Where does it want me to go? Oh, it wants me to go all the way down there. Nah. Okay, so we're not going to start that yet, but we are going to get this viewpoint. And we're going to enter the uh, fort area. This is one of the forts that uh, Connor takes in the Revolutionary War uh, in New York. This one is. But since they hadn't created this game yet, you know, they didn't have like a reference to it or anything like that. Uh, however, they do have, they probably do have references the other way around here. All right, there's my bank, my maps for my fleet. I still have an out, uh, I still have an, un ah, have I unlocked uh, outfits now? Uh, assassin outfit, interim outfit, which is the one I'm currently wearing. Explorer outfit, raider outfit, tracker outfit, sharpshooter outfit, captain outfit, dark assassin outfit. The outfit he wears on when he's in France, native armor, Templar 11th century armor, Templar enforcer armor, Viking armor, Templar master armor, Admiral outfits, hunter outfits, whaler outfits, frontiersman outfits, arctic explorer, assassin killer outfits, Altair's robes, Ezio's robes, Connor's outfit, Edward's outfit, 
Arno's outfit. Arno, we haven't met Arno yet. He's, uh, this game came out, like, shortly after or shortly before Assassin's Creed Unity, which takes place in France. However, this game takes place before that, so in both, uh, modern day and in the, and in the, uh, in both the modern day and the, uh, uh, past elements. So that's why we're doing this first. But it came out around the same point in time, so there's Arno's outfit. All the pistols I've unlocked. Um, there will be all kinds of like memorabilia and stuff like that throughout here. My swords. Um, things like that. Place could do with a little uh, renovation. All right. Let's go get this treasure chest since it's right behind us. All right. So. Oh, 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 oh. Thank y'all for tuning in and hanging out uh, as I play my way through this game. Also, thank you for uh, putting up with uh, my little moments of uh, pontificating on the uh uh lore of the game and things like that i'm going to be doing that a lot through this game because i have very specific let's say feelings about how this about th about this game and this character um like you know so, uh, anyway. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for, uh, popping in. Um, uh, before we go, you should check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more people listed in the link tree below. Also in the link tree are links to my socials, my Discord, my, uh, Twitch, my YouTube, uh, all the places you can find me including my patreon which is listed right here on screen if you go to that patreon you can support me directly and help me out with content creation and all of that actually speaking of youtube if you are watching this on youtube please like and subscribe and share share me around uh if you don't mind help me out. it'll help me out with that algorithm um and also if you want to check me out uh, if you want to check me out live on uh twitch I, you know, that link tree is also where you'll find me. Uh, my schedule is available on Twitch. So, uh, please check me out then. Um, let's see here. Do I have anything else to say? Tomorrow will be to continuing Tomb Raider anniversary. Uh, I don't really have anything else other than to say, uh, uh, anything else more to say other than that so until tomorrow remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourselves and love everyone around you and i will see you all tomorrow i love you all peace out